In this video, we are going to look at the vertical line test, the horizontal line test, relations and functions, and correspondence between variables. The first relation I'm going to look at is the straight line relationship. It's a linear relationship. So what we are going to do, we are going to do the, the vertical line test first. The vertical line test says if a vertical line is drawn on a graph and it crosses the graph in one point only, anywhere on the graph, then the graph is a function. As you can see, the vertical line here crosses the graph in one point only. It doesn't matter where we draw the line, this is going to cross the, the graph in one point only. So we are saying that this, is, this relation is a function. Now let's do the horizontal line test and see what happens. The horizontal line crosses the graph in one point only the same as the vertical line. So it doesn't matter where we draw the horizontal line, this horizontal line is going to cross the graph in one point only, which means that we have one point on the horizontal, one point on the vertical, so this is going to give us a one-to-one -one correspondence. The next one we are going to look at is a parabola. Here is a parabola y equals x squared minus one. So, if we start with the horizontal line test, we notice that the horizontal line crosses the graph in two points. So, as soon as it's, it's, we are talking about more than one point, we are going to say many points. Then we are going to do the vertical line test. It doesn't matter where we draw the vertical line, a vertical line is going to cross the graph in one point only. So we have many points on the horizontal, one point on the vertical, so this is going to give us a many-to-one correspondence between the two variables. The next, next relation I'm going to look at is a sideways parabola. So this time we have y squared equals x plus 1. Let's see what happens here. If we do the vertical line test, we do notice that the vertical line crosses the graph in more than one point, in this case, in two points. So this relation is not a function. That's the first um, uh, thing we notice about this uh, graph. So we have many points on the vertical. Now, if we draw the horizontal line, then a horizontal line drawn on the graph is going to cross the graph in one point only, which says that's one point. So we have one point on the horizontal, many points on the vertical, so that gives us a one-to-many correspondence. I want you to notice that if we have many at the end, we are talking about relations. If we have one at the end, we are talking about functions. The next um, relation I want to look at is a circle. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 4. If we draw the horizontal line, the hor uh, a horizontal line drawn on, on the graph is going to cross the graph in um, two points. So what we say, we say many. Um, it is true that if we drew the, the, vertic the horizontal line here at the top, it would only cross the graph in one point only, but that doesn't matter because we are looking at the maximum number of points. So if we do the, the vertical line test, a similar thing happens. We have two intercepts between the vertical line and the circle, so we have many points as well. So the correspondence in this case is going to be a many-to-many -many correspondence.